say good morning everybody what's happening how are y'all doing today I'm doing great today today is my birthday I'm a year older a year wiser and almost a year out of that cult so I wanted to talk to y'all today about birthdays Jehovah's Witnesses and why don't they celebrate birthdays I remember growing up they only gave me one reason because two people in the Bible got their heads chopped off while at a birthday party I used to think as a kid but that doesn't happen anymore so what's the big deal there was nothing more on the origins of it ever told or anything and my parents told me a story about when I was a kid how I want to celebrate my birthday so badly that I went into the closet and I started sing, singing happy birthday to me happy birthday to me <laughs> because I wanted to celebrate my birthday I wanted to fit in like every kid wants to do they just want to fit in feel normal have a little party get some gifts never got that as a kid and here I am 37 years later And I'm going to celebrate my first birthday. Tomorrow, actually. Even though it's today, I'm going to celebrate it tomorrow. So, I'm going to have some fun. I've made some new friends. Went on Facebook and I messaged uh, Jimmy from the interview on the XJW Analyzer channel. He got interviewed by John there. And... So I messaged him and we became quick friends and I'm going to go meet him and some others that I met on Facebook too and we're going to celebrate my birthday. And I got my family and my wife, my kids. And speaking about birthdays, we just left the cult last year, August of last year to be exact. And I want to tell you what I did for my wife's birthday. Because I got her good. See, her birthday was in October. And we had already planned on celebrating it together. And we were going to go to Cheesecake Factory. Well, we did go to Cheesecake Factory. And that week, she introduced me to a website called Meetup. And on this group that she found, they were an XJW group from Knoxville. And she told me about it on a Monday morning. Now, her birthday was, I think, Thursday of that week. And we were going to go out and do something Saturday for the, on the weekend. So, if you hear that, some guy with his car and his music for the whole world to hear that I don't want to listen to but anyways I'm like who's who's the group so I went and I joined the group as soon as I got accepted into the group I got on the horn with the organizer messaging him saying hey my wife's birthday is this week and we're first time to meet up with y'all and said can we do a surprise for her And he messaged me back. He's like, absolutely, let's do that. And then he also said, hey, by the way, we got somebody in the group that does cakes too. I'm like, can you put me in touch with them? And he's like, yes, absolutely. So I was on Facebook Messenger that week messaging them. And fortunately, I had some appliances for sale because I was planning my exit from the religion. And part of that was my move. And so I had to sell off a couple things. <clears throat> and so my wife saw me messaging on Facebook Messenger. She's like, who are you messaging? I'm like, oh, i just messaging some people about the appliances. Well, that week I got an email from the job that I'm back into now saying, hey, we want you to come for this job fair thing because there's a whole bunch of different positions you can apply for even though it's technically the same position in the end where I'm at. I'm a welder. 
work at a shipyard. And so there's structural welder, there's pipe welder, and they had one for a structural welder job fair. Well, I'm a pipe welder, so I wanted to come back in as a pipe welder. Well, they messaged me back for the structural welder job fair, which happened to correlate with the day that I was planning all this stuff for my wife. It was a Saturday. Well, obviously I had to go for that because I needed this job back as part of our final escape plan. Well, I got that email on Wednesday to come to that job fair on Saturday of this same week. So I told my wife, I'm like, look, I got to, you know, I got to run over to Virginia. I was in Tennessee at the time. I got to meet up with these people. She's like, oh, well, you just want to cancel our plans for Saturday? I'm like, no way. No, I said, we're going to, we're going to do this. I told her it doesn't matter. I said, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to Virginia. I'm going to drive there on Friday, go to the job fair and then drive back to Knoxville and I'm talking it was a it was a nine hour drive to from where I lived I didn't live in Knoxville I lived right near Chattanooga so it was a nine hour drive from Chattanooga to Hampton Roads Virginia area and she's like are you sure are you sure I'm like yes absolutely so I left that Friday stayed overnight Went to my little job fair. Of course, I got the job. I got accepted back right away because I used to work here before. So that's why I had total confidence in getting my job back. I left on good terms. And so I uh, drove back. We met up in Knoxville. We went to Cheesecake Factory, had a real nice dinner, and the reason why she wanted to go to Cheesecake Factory is because she loves cheesecake. I'm one of those weird ones. I actually don't like cheesecake. Y'all can say what you will in the comments below. I just never cared for it. Well, so she had to get her piece of cheesecake. And I had to let her get her cheesecake because otherwise I would have blown the surprise. So right after that, we went to the meetup group. Well, the meetup group, you know, people started flowing in and everything and then the organizer looked at me he's like you want to do it now I'm like yeah let's do it now so they pulled out the cake and we all sang her happy birthday and I had I had the girl who made the cake put on it happy first slash I'm not going to tell you my wife's age you think I'm crazy birthday so I put that on the cake for her and she was totally surprised. She had no idea all the planning and working I had to go into that. So, anyways, when it comes to birthdays, they're fun. You get some gifts, you have friends around, you get to make, you know, good memories. Ain't nothing wrong with them. And I tell you what, it was a whole lot of fun planning a surprise to get somebody like that. So, that's why when Jehovah's Witnesses don't celebrate birthdays, it's just crazy that they don't do it. I just, I can't see the point in not doing it. Well, they like to say, oh, well, you bring glory to yourself and not God. But you should be proud of yourself. You made it another year. Look back at your accomplishments and look to the future. And What can you do better? And that's really what I think it's all about personally is that kind of focus on your life and see where you're at and look to where you were going. Well, anyways, that's all I have for you all today. Thanks for watching and listening to me rant on. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.